Matthew, how do you decide between a willow or Colorado blades for these early spring days? That's a really, really good question. Everything I say right now is kind of like always, it depends. You know, if I go to Smith Mountain Lake, yeah, there's probably diff- there's specific stuff there that works better. But I'm trying to give you guys an idea of like, generally speaking, if you use these, you'll have success. Two things, water temperature and water clarity. The cleaner the water, the more light penetration that you're going to have. And that's where flash becomes a big deal versus just vibration. The dirtier the water, the less light visibility. And so instead of that, you're going to go with vibration and color. A lot of Colorado or or, or um, Indiana blades, you can get them colored. Jason Christie has won a lot of money on that. And what he's going for is not necessarily the flash, but getting that deeper thud vibration that a big Colorado or Indiana blade will give you. The other thing is water water temperature. When the water temperature is colder, those fish really use their lateral lines more, especially largemouth bass. They use their lateral lines more to feel out the, the bait. And that deeper thud of the Colorado blade really helps those fish to hone in and get it. Um, I heard that white blades are also extremely effective when the water's dirty. Coloring the blades out is extremely effective when the bait's when, when that's out there. So just just kind of some food for thought there with that. I, I hope that helps. 